As of ten minutes ago, I have made it illegal to walk on the floor in any part of the asylum. Anyone caught doing so will be... Oh, this is stupid. I have... Ah! Uh, uh, anyone caught will have their legs removed and perform magic tricks for Emperor Joker. There, I did it! I... Ah! You're doing great, Sharpie. Ready for more? Tell us to guard the tunnel, we guard the tunnel. Joker tells us to kill the bat, we kill the bat. Joker told me to kill my sister once. Did you do it? Hell yeah! I never liked her anyway. You're cold, man. Funny thing, he said the same to me. I told him I didn't even have a sister. He just kept telling me to do it. So I got in my car, ran over the first bitch I saw. Joker seemed happy. Ha ha, he's a barrel of that. Kind of a mystery, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, but he acts all crazy one minute, and then the next, he's all plans and jobs. Uh, who knows what goes on in that head? Not our problem. Interview 44. This is yet another interview with Edward Nigma. I have yet to make up my mind whether he's a genius or just deluded. Whichever one he is, just being in his company is both irritating and exhausting. 
Hello, Miss Young. You look tired. Anything you need my help with? No, thank you, Edward. I am here to help you. We all are. <laughs> Forgive my arrogance, Doctor, but if you think I need your help, well, you're in the right place. Let's look at it a different way. Throughout your career, you have specialized in bizarre traps and convoluted clues that more often than not result in the death of the unfortunate participants. And if the citizens of Gotham were smarter, my games would be merely an amusing diversion. Instead of death traps. You really should be thanking me. Weeding out the ignorant, the stupid, the useless. But don't worry, I'm sure you would survive. What a lovely photo on your desk, Doctor. Your family. Mother, perhaps. Put that down. Get out! Go on! Ah! Another one of the easy ones. Don't feel too proud, Batman. Are you up to the challenge? Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, few would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, few would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our low security wings offer normal but troubled individuals a safe haven for recovery. An extensive breakdown of our cause. Can you defeat a mind such as mine?
to check my pulse now, Doc. It's not gonna be so easy when I'm not do- Thank you, Batman. The guard wouldn't have lasted much longer. Is he okay? He struck his head when they knocked him to the ground. Move him away from here as soon as you can. Take him to the medical facility. It's the safest place on the island. Okay. I'll go with him as soon as he's able to stand.
my babies. I'm really not interested in a bunch of flowers, Ivy. They're in pain, crying for help. Just stay where you are. Last thing I need is you running free. Poor children. I'll save you. My poor babies. Someone help me! <laughs> Harley! Ah! You have to help me. Ivy? Gee, you look like crap. Maybe I can uh, sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I really don't have time for this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Red. You're not on Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please! Uh, ah, what the heck. I'll cut you a break. That feels so much better. I could watch the zoo all day. What a riot. And speaking of riots, here's a bit of civil unrest I cooked up just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. It's useless. Half the code won't get you anywhere. We're trapped in here. There's always a way out. Always. Stay here. Lock this gate when I leave. Oh, good idea. Can't have someone of my stature falling back into their hands now, can we? Get me out of here! You rescued the wrong warden. He's an imposter. You know how many freaks are in this place.
are earning my respect, Dark Knight Detective. I'll let you help me find my socks if you keep this up. someone who has failed to solve three quarters of my riddles. A Batman. Surprise! You know, Bats, I always thought there was a spark between us. Classification system deactivated.
20 young women in the last three months. Each had her throat slit and was left posed. They were all lucky to be chosen to receive my gift. I doubt they would agree with you. Really? How about you, Miss Cassidy? As you take the elevator to your apartment each night, open the six locks to apartment 433. Remember you forgot to buy your cat food. Again? How do you know where I... you sit down on your favorite red chair, cat on lap, just waiting for something to happen. I can make it happen, Sarah. I am your salvation. They brought the animal before me. 
shameless and barking like a mad dog. For what felt like days, I endured his boasts. He took pleasure recounting his actions, cataloging his depraved crimes. What should have been revenge turned to pity. This poor dog needed my help. Both gonna die in there. You're safe now. You going after that crazy witch? I saw her heading out of the door as we got out of the room. She won't get away. I'll stop her and then her boyfriend. Good. Listen, I'll go try and get the ventilation system working. If you find her, don't go easy on her. From me. Did you see him back there? What was that thing he used? No idea. He saved our lives. That's all I need to know. Patient's name is Victor Saez. For the record, the patient has transferred from Dr. Cassidy, who is on leave after the incident last week. Hello, Victor. Please take a seat. Guards, you can leave us. Sorry, Doctor. Warden's orders. I can't leave you alone with him. I understand. Hello, Victor. How are you feeling today? Victor, I can't help you if you don't speak. Depressed. Does that help you? Can you get into my mind, Doctor? Why depressed? I'm just thinking about the one that got away. The one I chose. I needed the mark. I want the mark!